Thank you very much, Madam Chairperson. And I do recall her giving me a lot of support when I lived for three and a half years here in the UK. So I want to just say how glad I am to see her. Honorable High Commissioner Ramakan and his lovely wife, uh, my wife Nadine, organizers of this great event. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon to everybody. You know, Jamaica is an amazing place, isn't it? Because I am 5,000 plus miles from home and I feel like I'm right at the yard with all in this congregation right here. And I want you to really feel proud of your country and uh, what you do wherever you are, no matter how far you are from Jamaica. I am here on official business, uh, doing some visits, looking at some hospitals, trying to partner with the UK and a number of institutions to improve healthcare in Jamaica. Uh, this is not strange territory to me. As I said, I went to Manchester Business School, lived here for three and a half years in the late 90s, early 2000s. And of course, I have to take a little time to spend some time with my Jamaican colleagues and friends and family while I'm at it. I went and watched Usain Bolt yesterday to give him the support. Let's give him a big round of applause. He has definitely been an ambassador for Jamaica and for all Jamaica, right? Yeah. And we support him no matter what. Yeah. Because he has been good to us and we must be good to him. So I did a little of that and I'm here today because I wanted to see what this was all about. And when I drove up and saw the crowd and the cars, I said, man, this is like little Jamaica in London, in England, right? I want to commend the organizers. I want to recognize all of you here and to say happy Jamaica 55. 55 years is a short time, relatively speaking. But I am sure you will agree with me that we have done a lot in 55 years. How many little country with 3 million people can achieve what we have done in music, in sports, in religion, in academics, in so many different spheres of society. And guess what? There's a Jamaica living in almost every country of the world. Everywhere I go, I find a yard, a Jamaican. And no matter what people say, no matter what the challenges are, we are appreciated wherever we go, even when they don't talk about it. Because we work hard, we give our fair due, and we make sure we make life work for us. And invariably, we maintain our connection with Jamaica. Isn't that so? Everywhere I go and meet a Jamaican, them tell me they want to go back to Jamaica eventually. And they go periodically, and they have ambitions to go eventually. And so for us as the Jamaica government, we have to ensure that we maintain the link with you. We know it's not always easy. We know sometimes we don't always get it right, but we have to keep trying. And events such as this one, particularly because it is focusing on enhancing education in Jamaica, our event is an event that is worth supporting. So I'm happy to be here I'm going to mingle a little bit in the crowd. I'm going to visit a few of the booths. I'm going to spend a little time with the HC here and with the organizers. And I just say to you, enjoy Jamaica 55. We have done a lot. We can be proud as Jamaicans. And we have a lot more in store as a country and as a people. God bless all of you and enjoy the rest of the day. I'm in the Crystal Palace Basic School Foundation um, in the park. Jamaica Independence 55 and I'm with Christopher Tufton, Minister Christopher Tufton, Minister of Health from Jamaica. Chris, hi, how are you? Nice, good to be here. How are you? Good, good, good. Well, it's, it's good that you, you jumped on the stage. It's good that you jumped on the stage uh, a second ago. And uh, But tell us um, your journey in the UK because upon the stage you said that you're just passing through on business. Mm -hmm. So tell the people what's official business. Yeah, well, I'm here to visiting a few hospitals, having a few meetings yes. as part of my um, collaborative effort to improve health service, public health in Jamaica. So yes. I was up in, in Birmingham at Queen Elizabeth Hospital, 
we signed an MOU for some okay. technical cooperation. I'm going to Manchester on Monday. I met with doctors in London yes. and I'm going to be meeting with the Home Office and Ministry of Health representatives on Tuesday. Right. Um, so yes, I'm on business, but I of course find some time to be among the Jamaicans. It's, yes. a, it's a big occasion, Jamaica yes. 55, and so I'm very happy to be here. And of course, anyone who is a Jamaican, the day after. Do we call this the day after? After you say both? I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, as as uh, he is such a a, a a powerful, not just Jamaican but international figure, mm. that whatever happens to him, particularly in the sport, is going to attract international attention and yes. discussion. Um, I had the opportunity to witness the race. Um, we're proud of him. He has been a true ambassador for us. But clearly, there is disappointment around him finishing the way he did, given that this is his last major appearance. But, you know, as I said, he has done a lot more good for the sport and for Jamaica and the world indeed um, to rec be recognized for his achievements rather than for that one event yesterday. And, and, and you know, I was saying to some that this is good in a way, but it shows that he's human and it shows another side of him when after the race he actually went up to Gatlin and hugged him. I think it's true sportsmanship and it, it is really what we want in the sport. Yes. And he, Within in humanity, yes. um, we are uh, ten, We have become a very aggressive yes. world, yes. and I think him doing it the way that he has done it, worked hard, yes. never been implicated in anything yes. related to you know drugs or enhancements that are illegal to the sport. Yes. Um, won his races, took it in grace, made his own little mistakes here and there, but we all have. And then the way he closed it off, yes. where he has recognized those who have done better than him in yes. this particular instance demonstrates his humanity and, and the type of sportsmanship that is required yes. for the game and I think that's, that's worth applauding. So finally, because um, I realize that it's a very packed day and you've got a, a busy schedule, but what is your message to Jamaicans in the diaspora, especially in the UK? Well, I, I, I want to first of all commend them because they have remained true, loyal and faithful to their heritage, to their culture yes. and to Jamaica. I mean, they go back, they send back support in healthcare, for example. We had over 200 missions last year from yes. all over the world supporting different elements of healthcare. Um, and clearly, they believe in Jamaica to be here today. Yes. Uh, so many places around the UK. And uh, it is worth recognition and commendation from the government side. We must do more to give them support. Yes. And that search is an ongoing progress process, a work in progress. I'm here to listen, to learn, yes. and whatever I can suggest back home to enhance that relationship. I certainly will. Fantastic. So, ladies and gentlemen, we thank Mr. Tufton for sharing his time. And uh, so, enjoy your time while in the UK and a wonderful journey back. Thanks a lot, and good luck to you. Fantastic. Okay.
a big wave to everybody and say happy independence. Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's applaud them while they come off the stage.